Alexander Shafto Douglas was a student at Cambridge University in England, where he invented the world's first graphics-based video game called OXO. Later, in 1958, an American physicist named William Higginbotham invented a game called Tennis for Two, the first video game to display motion. Even though they, they did not exchange ideas, OXO and Tennis for Two explored and revolutionized the video game industry by introducing the ideas of human-computer encounters and movement in video games. Before video games, people went to the cinemas for entertainment, soon followed by listening to personal radios. Before OXO and Tennis for Two, video games looked something like this. When OXO was invented by Alexander Shafto Douglas in 1952 in the University of Cambridge, it wasn't very popular due to the extreme size of the computer it was played on, EDSAC, which stands for Electric Delay Storage Automatic Calculator. R. A. Brooker made the logical design of the EDSAC. The game was invented for Alexander's PhD on human-computer interaction. However, Alexander Douglas never made his thesis public, making it only readable in the Cambridge Library. OXO was the first graphics-based video game. Later, on October 18, 1958, an American physicist named William Higginbotham invented a game called Tennis for Two on a daughter model 30 analog computer connected to an oscilloscope screen for Visitor's Day at the Brookenhaven National Laboratory. This was the first video game to display motion. The screen of the game had a width of only 5 inches, which was very big at the time. A quote by Robert Dvorak Jr. states, quote, The game, primitive by modern standards, featured two control boxes whose buttons prompted a bright green ball of streaking light to bounce back and forth over a symbolic net, unquote. When asked what the first video game was, many replied Pong. Some people around the school even replied saying Pac-Man was the first video game. But they're incorrect. OXO and Tennis for Two are the reason both of those games were made. Pong was made 20 years after OXO, and Pac-Man was made 28 years after. OXO, or Knots and Crosses, was the first graphics-based game cre created by Alexander Shafto Douglas in 1952 on the EDSAC computer. It was played by one player. The player would decide who went first, the player or the computer, and, and what they would do. Using a rotary telephone dial to enter its moves, the EDSAC would display the game board on a 35 by 15 dot cathode ray tube. It was the first game to use graphics. Graphics would soon influence a game called Tennis for Two. Even people who know a little bit about early video games will tell you that Tennis for Two was the first video game because it was the first video game ever to display movement. Many say that if it didn't have motion, it wasn't considered a video game. Even the creator of Tennis for Two, William Higginbotham, considered his game to be the first. Tennis for Two was created on a Donner Model 30 analog computer connected to an oscilloscope screen. Unlike OXO, Tennis for Two was for two players, as you could probably tell from the name. Tennis for Two was the first video game to display motion and graphics. This would later influence many other games to come, like the next game in the gaming timeline, Space War. The immediate reactions of the people after Tennis for Two was made were amazing. A quote by Brookenhaven National Laboratory spokeswoman Mona Rowe states, quote, Hundreds of people were lined up out the door. Unquote. It was a hit beyond Dr. Higginbotham's wildest expectations. Shortly after the invention of Tennis for Two came the game Space War, created in 1962 
by Steve Russell on the Cathroad Ray 2 like OXO. And like Tennis for Two, it was also a two-player game. The objective of the game was to take control of the other player's spaceship and then attempt to destroy it. The long-term effects of the early computer games were amazing too. These games changed the way video games were programmed everywhere. The graphics and movement from OXO and Tennis for Two are seen in every current and modern video game today. And, to, and the two-player function of Tennis for Two inspired multiplayer games from four to even thousands of players. If you're still thinking why these games are important, then think of the games that many people enjoy, like Super Mario Bros., Zelda, Pac-Man, or even the educational games used to teach young kids. So as you can see, Tennis for Two and OXO deeply affected the video gaming industry. If OXO and Tennis for Two had not explored the idea of video games, we would probably be still in an early stage of video gaming. Thank you for watching.